Hi, thanks for coming back. Today we're going to be working some more on double crochet, triple crochet, and we're going to be working in the round this time. Start off by taking a yarn in your hand, wrapping it behind that first finger, grabbing it here, and we're going to make a slip knot just like we taught last time. Do a little flip. Grab the yarn, pull it down just like you're going to chain, holding that flip between your thumb and your middle finger. Pull it straight down and then just give it a yank. There you go. You are started. You want to chain four times, pull down through the loop one, two, three, four. And you're going to go back to this first chain, slip through it, grab the yarn, bring it back through both loops. And that is a slip stitch and that makes a nice little ring here. Now you're going to be working in the round, so you're going to be put the stitches in the ring going around and around. Go in, grab the yarn, pull it back through. You have two loops on your chain. Pull the yarn through that, there's a single crochet, and then chain up twice. Okay, and I like to do a single crochet instead of a slip stitch right there at the beginning, just to attach it to the ring a little bit um, more securely the first time. We're going to do 15 double crochets into this um, ring in the middle. So you wrap once around, don't pull through. Go into your hole, just like we were doing the hair scrunchies last week. Lay the yarn on there and pull it back through. You've got three loops on your hook. Wrap, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time. Wrap the yarn, go through the hole, grab the yarn on the other side, pull it back through the ring. You've got three loops on your hook. Wrap it. Remember, keep turning your hook so it's facing um, the little notch is facing your thumb so it easily pulls right through. Pull it through two. And see how I'm putting my finger down a little bit more as I'm pulling it through to give it the yarn it needs? Pull it through two. There you go. So you go around 15 times so that including this original chain spot and single crochet here, you have 16 on your hook. There you go. 16 double crochets on your ring. Now you want to do a slip stitch at the top of the chain here right before that first double crochet. So you push your hook in, grab the yarn, pull it back through and pull it back through. That connects it, makes a nice little circle. Okay, then you want to chain up three. One, two, three. You need to chain up three every time you start a new row. Okay, now we're going to go into the top of a previous double crochet. So right here is your chain. Your chain's on top of that. Right next to that is a double crochet with a little spot right there. So you wrap, you go underneath that first loop, push it through. Here you go. If you want to look at the top, you have a little V on top. So you should go through two little loops, grab the yarn, pull it back through, once again, wrap, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, this is your side. Now we're going to immediately start making the corners and turning this into a square um, piece of fabric. So we wrap, see how it pulls, there's a nice little hole right there you can easily see. Slip your hook right in there, there's two little loops on top. Lay your hook on the yarn, pull it back through, wrap, pull through two, pull through two. That's another double crochet. Now this time we're not going to move on to the next little spot. We're going to stay right here and make our corner. Wrap, go in, here's another double crochet. Pull the yarn back through, wrap, pull through two, pull through two. Now you want to make this corner a little bit pointy, so we're going to do a triple crochet, which is a little bit longer. Wrap once. 
wrap twice before we go into the same hole. Put your hook on the yarn, pull it back through. Then you're going to wrap, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And that is a triple crochet. The next thing we're going to do is a very mirror image of that. This is going to be a miter corner. Wrap once, twice, make a another triple crochet, go into the next hole, put your hook down on the yarn, pull it back through, wrap, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, wrap it around, stick it in the um, little hole, we're making a double crochet. Like I said, this is the mirror opposite of the other side of the corner, so it's a triple and two doubles in the same spot. Okay, and now we're going to make a side. So go into the next hole with a double crochet. And we go into the next spot with a double crochet. So that's two just regular double crochets right on top of the ones underneath of it. And then this next hole we're going to start making a corner again. But do two double crochets in here, a triple, and then followed by a triple and two doubles in this next spot. And by the time that you get all the way around, your circle will have turned into a nice little square. Four corners, four sides, and you are going to do a slip stitch right into the top of that third chain to connect. Once again, you're going on to the next round. So you chain up three, one, two, three. And now we start a pattern that you can repeat for as long as you go and make this as big as you want. You wrap it and you do a double crochet on top of double crochet from the row before. And you just keep going as long as it's a double crochet under you you make another double crochet right on top. But as soon as you get to a triple crochet right here, you make another corner. Two doubles. And a triple. And then once again, you're going to do a mirror image of that, starting with a triple. And two doubles. And then you're just going to go right down the row. Here is the top of a double crochet, so you're going to put a double crochet right on top of that. And just keep going around, put a double, double, double on top of the doubles until you get back to the triple crochet in the corner again and you make another corner. Now you just want to keep doing this for as many rows as you want. Today we are making a washcloth and traditional washcloth is about 9 inches. So I put 8 rows around including the middle circle um, until I got close to 9 inches. And then I did a slip stitch right here to connect it, pull the yarn through, clip it. To finish it off, you wrap the yarn and pull it through, yank tight. And then you just want to go back through, weave in these ends. Just kind of pull it through anywhere until you don't have anything left hanging out. Now this is going to be a washcloth, so we're making it with 100% cotton yarn today. Um, they're really nice things to practice on because if they don't look that great, you can always wash dirty pots and pans and nobody cares. And if they do look nice, they make really nice um, housewarming or Christmas gifts. Um, but you could use the same pattern to make squares and sew them together for a blanket. Or you can continue to keep going out and out and out farther and farther and make a whole blanket as long as you're interested in something square. Now I will let you know sometimes people have problems with this pattern getting a little bit ripply. 
not wanting to lie flat, kind of doing a scrunchy up thing where it looks like a big old ruffle. If you have that problem, um, I'd say about every fourth row or so, when you get to the corners, instead of doing two doubles, a triple, and then a triple and two doubles, um, only do one double and one triple, and that will tighten it up a little bit and not make it so roughly, so it'll lie flat. So you just have to decide what works for your work. Thanks for stopping by again this week, and I hope you're learning lots and having fun crocheting.